Mr. Barlow is a judge on the first episode of Walk the Line, on ITV at 8 p.m. The musical game show, hosted by Maya Jama, sees acts compete for a prize pot of £500,000, with Mr. Barlow joined by Alicia Dixon, Dawn French and Craig David on the judging panel. The winner of tonight's show will be crowned a champion, but will then face the difficult decision of whether to cash out of the competition for £10,000 or compete again against four new contestants in tomorrow night's episode. To win the series and take home the life-changing pot of money the contestants will need nerves of steel and risk it all to stay in the competition. Mr. Barlow, who was propelled to mainstream success as part of 90s boy band Take That, has previous experience judging music talent contests, having been a judge on The X Factor from 2011 to 20. However, the singer once revealed feeling completely out of his comfort zone during a meeting with the Queen. The pop star had been asked to mastermind Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee concert in 2012 which included a dazzling array of stars, such as Sir Paul McCartney, Sir Elton John and Sir Tom Jones. However, when he met with the Queen to run through the show's itinerary, Mr. Barlow confessed that the monarch tested his organizational skills to the limit with a number of tricky questions. Speaking on The Graham Norton Show in 2012 before the concert took place the singer revealed, the Queen is absolutely delighted with the whole lineup. Only a couple of weeks ago I got the job of presenting the whole plan of the concert to her and I'd learnt everything about the gig. There's not a question she can throw at me that I'm going to falter on. Yet the singer was then taken aback as the monarch grilled him on the event's finer details. Mr. Barlow continued, and she said, so all the equipment, how long is that going to take to dismantle? At this point, I'm guessing so I say, about six or seven hours. And she said, so, the concert finished at half ten at night, which means you will be doing that all night at the front of the palace where my family lives. At this point, I say, moving on your majesty, this is the royal box, this is where you will be sitting. And she said, how am I going to get there? It was something else I didn't know the answer to. She is incredible for her age and very, very smart and excited about the whole weekend. The Queen's Diamond Jubilee concert took place outside Buckingham Palace in June 2012, in celebration of the Queen's 60-year reign. Mr. Barlow even wrote a song for the occasion alongside Andrew Lloyd Webber titled, Sing, which reached number one on the UK chart. Next year the Queen is due to celebrate be her 70th year on the throne, and Her Majesty and members of the royal family will be travelling across the country, undertaking engagement to mark the historic occasion. The focal point of the celebrations will be the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend in June. There will be an extended bank holiday from Thursday 2 to Sunday 5, which will provide an opportunity for communities across the UK to celebrate the historic milestone. The four-day celebration will include public events and community activities, as well as a national moment of reflection on the monarch's 70-year reign. Watch Walk the Line on ITV at 8pm.